Yes, we can start. So shall I start with the introduction? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Good morning, everyone who are present today. I would like to welcome everyone today in our webinar organized by Government Degree College Concern Tour and the Global Scholarship on the topic of sex. You did not know about scholarship. Yes, ma'am. Today we are really very happy to have our resource person, respected Madam Vin. Nadesh Pandey, co-founder and managing director, Triwitz Technologies Private Limited. Let me highlight about the college. Government Degree College Kanchanpur is established in the year 2012. The town Kanchanpur is situated in the northern part of Tripura, bordering the two states of Mizoram and Assam. The college is an arts college with seven departments, English, Bengali, Kokboro, History, Political Science, Philosophy and Education. The total strength of the student at present is 933 and teaching faculties are 10 regular teachers and 10 part-time part -time teachers. Ministerial staff, we have one head clerk, upper division clerk, three numbers, one storekeeper and two group staffs. Now I would like to give a brief introduction about our resource person. Madam Vina Deshpande is the co-founder and managing director of Triwitz Technologies Private Limited. She has completed her post-graduation in IT and has an experience of managing a team over the past eight plus years. As she grew professionally, she used to help students financially to complete their education. But soon she realized that she alone cannot help too many students. She started exploring options which could help students in solving their financial issues. As a result, she got to know that there are hundreds of scholarships available, but students are not aware of it. If they are aware of it, the application process is complex, and there is no one to provide them quick support or resolve their queries. Hence, she decided to solve this problem and came with an idea called as the Global Scholarship. Her team dedicatedly filters the available scholarships and forwards it to eligible students. Her team also helps students on guiding them how to apply for scholarships. As a result of her hard work, her startup has been recognized by government of Karnataka and she has won the prestigious award called Elevate 100 from government of Karnataka. And we are very lucky today. Madam, please take your time. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, guys, I'm going to start ahead in a minute. So the one who is listening to me on the YouTube channel, please let me know whether I'm audible or not. Comment yes in the comment box so that I can start ahead quickly. So uh, today we have organized this webinar to give some, some of the important information to the students. That is the title of the webinar, like what we are going ahead is facts you don't know about the scholarships. So there are you know, a lot of things which students are being unaware about the scholarship facility, what everyone has, but they are failing to identify them and apply and back the scholarships. So we are going to start ahead. Thank you for the uh, message like Asha has Aisha has mentioned. Yes. So that thank you so much. So I'll, I'll start ahead. Uh, along with that, you can just type your, uh, uh, you know, uh, course what you're studying first thing and second thing have you ever applied for any of the scholarships have you ever applied and have you ever bagged any of the scholarships so far if yes please comment your course please comment the scholarship whether you have bagged ever yes or no if yes please let me know the name of the scholarship which you have already applied and bagged so the scholarship is a charity or the grant which has been given by a lot of you know sources from which a student can you know, use that fund and can utilize for the better education. What usually students find difficulty is like students are dropping out their education for the sake of financial crisis that usually starts at the age of 10 plus 2 when you are studying going for the higher studies. So to reduce that dropout ratio, the global scholarship team is trying to be an intermediate or an aggregator between the scholarship provider and the uh, you know, receiver. For example, like uh, who are the scholarship providers? Like everyone is aware, like uh, most of the students are aware about even the education institutions and even the parents are aware about the things like that is the scholarships are available through government. 
but students apply it one or two and every most of the students are assuming that the scholarships are reserved for only few category things this is the one more fact as a student you should know first thing is there are a lot of other resources are also there who are sponsoring the scholarship other than government apart from that who can apply the scholarships who cannot apply the scholarship and on what basis a student has to apply the scholarship and on what basis student can bag the scholarship i mean can win the scholarship so uh, yes thank you guys like as you are mentioning uh, nippon uh, most of the students tingasa everyone most of the you guys are priyan you guys are uh, you know mentioning about the scholarship name called nsp yes and it's be the one scholarship which is been sponsored by government so when uh, you know when you are applying for these scholarship you might be finding some difficulties for example when you are uh, when you are unaware of the things for example most of the students are applying you know mentioning only about nsp scholarship i did not find any one different name over there it is because not having much knowledge about the scholarship which are available for the students the reason is the awareness is not spread across through any of these resources who are sponsoring the scholarship they, they are they are uh, you know marketing or the, they are uh, government itself provides like student can can apply government so that time most of the students ask that can i apply to scholarships yes buddy you can apply more number of scholarships that is why the global scholarship platform has been designed to help the students to know about the available number of scholarships and to know how to apply them and how to back them we are not the scholarship providers we are being an aggregator platform between the scholarship provider and the receiver that's a student so other than government who else are providing the scholarships there are a lot of private organizations are there who are sponsoring the scholarships to the students usually whenever any private organization is been uh, giving the contribution to the society's uh, betterment so that time they i mean the the funds which have been released from the private organizations are generally called as csr funds that is for a social cause they have to give a contribution Uh, out of their profit margin that is 2% out of their profit margin they have to give every annually or every year where they can contribute something to the society but 99% of the organizations are making sure out of that csr fund they are releasing that in terms of scholarship amount so that they can be the contributor to increase the Uh, literacy rate they can increase or they can uh, they can decrease the dropout ratio of the students who are uh, stopping their education for the sake of financial crisis they can be some contributor uh, so that uh, one student's life should get better over there so uh, if you guys are not uh, understanding english i can use hindi also i mean if you are okay with english that's also okay if not like i can in between i can use hindi as well i don't mind to use that okay so Uh, जब भी आप कोई स्कॉलरशिप अप्लाई कर रहे हो तो आपको बहुत दिक्कत रहता है यू विल फाइंड प्रॉब्लम जैसे कि आपको कौन सा स्कॉलरशिप अप्लाई करना है पता नहीं है आपको कहाँ अप्लाई करना है पता नहीं है एंड वो स्कॉलरशिप अप्लाई करते वक्त आपको कोई दिक्कत आ रही है आपको कोई डिफिकल्टी आ रही है तो किसको पूछना है हेल्प के लिए आपको पता नहीं यूजली वॉट स्टूडेंट डज दे गो टू सम ब्राउजिंग सेंटर्स एंड दे पे सम दो सौ तीन सौ रुपए दे देते हैं इंटरनेट सेंटर वाले को एंड वो बंदा अप्लाई कर देता है वो आपका डॉक्यूमेंट करेक्ट है रॉन्ग है द इन्फॉर्मेशन वॉट यू सपोज टू गिव एंड द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया जैसे कि हर कोई स्कॉलरशिप प्रोवाइडर जो है वो अपना सेट ऑफ एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया लेके आता है जैसे कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन सिंपल टर्म आपको एडमिशन लेते वक्त आपके कॉलेज में कुछ रिस्ट्रिक्शन रहते हैं जैसे कि आपको इतना परसेंटेज करना ही है प्रीवियस कोर्स में देन ओनली विल गेट एन एडमिशन टू द the in this college so likewise uh, like if you if you when you are applying for any of the scholarship there are critical things which you have to take care while applying for example the start date and the end date of the scholarship agar end date khatam hone ke baad koi scholarship apply kar rahe ho to it's of no use your application will be rejected because you are applying after the deadline so you should know the start date and the end date of the scholarship second thing is the very critical grants the scholarships are there for the one who's traveler you know traveling from one city to another city for this uh, year. then scholarships are provided in terms of your mess uh, fees scholarships are provided in terms of your uh, extra curricular activities or the extra curricular courses what you are offering the discount on those uh, uh, course fees is the type of the scholarship for there are some uh, uh, you know 
uh, scholarship provider who are sponsoring the gadgets like laptop, mobile phones, and all those things. Like they're they're sponsoring the scholarships based in terms of that. There are some uh, scholarship providers who are sponsoring the scholarship in terms of books. For you know, for student like what uh, you know, study materials are required. Those things are important. The scholarship is not only just in terms of money; it is in variety types that student has to understand. It's not the reserved monetary value. So, in the eligibility criteria, student has to take care of this also. So, as I told you, start date, end date, and the what is the scholarship reward they are going to get? Is it in terms of monetary value, or is it in terms of books? Is it in terms of gadgets? Is it in terms of any course fees or a discount on the course fees? So, likewise, the student has to know these basic things. First three things. Then comes about eligibility criteria. For example, what all eligibility criteria? Includes, for example, this should be your percentage criteria, which you are, you might have done in your previous course or tenth and PUC. Then the second thing is like you must be studying in the specific state. As I have told you, the government sponsors from state uh, the scholarship from the state and the central wise. So likewise, so there are. Uh, I know eligibility criteria is on the location basis also. Then the eligibility criteria is if it is government, like uh, the start date and the end date is the one major thing. Eligibility criteria will be there. If it is a private organization, so that time, for example, private organizations will be having a limited fund, so they they accept only first hundred applications. This is also one eligibility criteria. So what is your percentage? What specific course you are studying? Which region you belong to? What should be your family income? So what should be uh, You are aspirant of so likewise there will be a lot of eligibility criteria where you should meet up. Apart over to all these like there are some uh, scholarship which are being provided dedicatedly for gender specific also like there are some scholarship which are being sponsored dedicatedly only for girls that is to increase the literacy rate of a woman. So they are trying to introduce these facilities. For example, Fair and Lovely is there, uh, Santur is there. So like these there are some organizations which are sponsoring scholarship only to the girls. So likewise you have to check these eligibility. criteria then comes the uh, another uh, important part of this uh, application process is what all documents you have to submit before you could apply for this scholarship or what should be the attachment along with this application process so for example what is the document they may require for the verification uh, probably they may ask your aadhar card uh, they may ask your uh, uh, college certificates and they may ask your Address proofs, ID proof, income proof, caste proof. The likewise, there are a list of documents where every scholarship provider will be listing up. So, student usually find a difficulty in understanding all these things. So, there the global scholarship team who's there uh, to help the students to give this all crisp data. I mean, उसको जितना possible है उतना ही important data. हम पूरे अनवांटेड थिंग्स निकाल के हम जितना पॉसिबल है दो थिंग्स वील ट्राई टू गिव यू एज अ पीस ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन विच कैन हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स टू यू नो अप्लाई एनी स्कॉलरशिप देन कम्स वेदर यू फॉलो इन टू दिस एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया और नॉट हाउ विल यू आइडेंटिफाई दैट सो फॉर दैट रीजन द ग्लोबल स्कॉलरशिप प्लेटफॉर्म हैज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड वन रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर्म दैट इज फॉर एब्सोल्युटली फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट वंस यू रजिस्टर आई हैव जस्ट ड्रॉप्ड अ मैसेज इन द कमेंट बॉक्स यू कैन जस्ट चेक इट आउट तो रजिस्ट्रेशन वी आर आस्किंग स्टूडेंट टू रजिस्टर ऑन अ प्लेटफॉर्म विच इज एब्सोल्युटली फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट जस्ट टू सेंड द स्टूडेंट अ रेलेवेंट स्कॉलरशिप नोटिफिकेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल समन इज यू नो परसुइंग अ कोर्स समन इज मैं लाइक आई एम स्टडिंग इन बी ए फर्स्ट सेम सो लाइक वी आर आस्किंग वंस यू रजिस्टर ऑन अ पोर्टल देर इज अ बेट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन वी आर ट्राइंग टू कैप्चर दैट इज अबाउट वॉट कोर्स यू आर स्टडिंग वॉट इज योर फैमिली इनकम what is your previous percentage what is your gender what is your caste so be these basic information we we are capturing in that uh, profile update so that we can send you relevant piece of information that is the important thing what we are trying to do so that as when student is trying to apply for the scholarship student is unaware whether i can whether i am eligible for this scholarship or not students will be having lot of confusion in that so to reduce that confusion we are asking student to register if you are not registered user also you can go to our website and you can get all scholarship you uh, know every month scholarships are we are adding our team is adding dedicatedly they are scrutinizing they are searching they are adding the curated data into the website there also you can find the information but the thing is if you are a registered user we will send you the notification on your mobile phone so that we tell that okay this is your uh, uh, matching scholarship please apply this and we just don't stop here apart from this what we are doing we are sending the notification to the students 
then what we are doing is we are making sure that students usually find difficulty in applying this scholarship so we are available on the instagram also and telegram also on whatsapp also so that if student has any issue to apply the scholarship whom the student should ask or who from whom the student can clarify those doubts so for that we are available on the social medias because the students are avail active on the social media so that we are also trying to be there so that we can help students over there we have more than 20000 uh, you know followers on our instagram and 6000 plus uh, subscribers on our uh, telegram for whom we are already helping to just to know how to apply for the scholarship still if student has some difficulty instead going to the any internet center and paying some 200 300 rupees to apply for one scholarship so instead of that we are trying to make the student independent so we are providing the apply process video of any application or the any scholarship which is available which is active at this month so we are making sure its apply process video is been uploaded on a youtube channel which on which uh, you are already uh, listening the webinar the same youtube channel like you have apply process video of every application or the every scholarship which is been added or which has been notified to you so this helps the students to uh, reduce their uh, confusions and still if they have any clarifications they can one on one queries they can ask uh, on the instagram or on a whatsapp or on a telegram where they can resolve their uh, queries so the global scholarship team is not being the one who is providing the scholarship but we are being an aggregator platform to help the students to know about more number of scholarships and Uh, how to apply them and if they have any queries we are here to help you out now comes there are as the topic i don't want to go out of the topic but i'm trying to give the maximum information to you the facts you don't know about the scholarship for example student have lot of confusions like the student carry lot of confusions in their mind a student assume that there are only 3 to 5 scholarships throughout the academic and that to which are reserved, reserved for uh, you know one who is into uh, uh, you know one who is in uh, Uh, you know who is getting the lo- uh, less uh, uh, you know fee structure or the family income or the one who is actually highest in his or her studies only those people can uh, back the scholarship these are the one piece of information where the student is failing to identify uh, this is the one major fact a student has to identify and we are introducing these things so that student and a parent can be debt free and uh, he or she can uh, you know continue their education and not to uh, drop out their education at any instance of time the scholarships are thousands in number uh, you know like we have our uh, uh, database around uh, 2000 plus databases with us where the scholarships are there from uh, first standard to phd level but uh, students are assuming that they are available only in once in a year no the scholarships are throughout the year the scholarships are available but the students are not being aware of it so we are helping we are notifying them on their mobile phones uh you know with the help of that student can apply more in number then student have some confusions like uh whether i can apply more in number or not yes student can apply more in number also uh, the the that is the one more fact or one more myth i want to clarify the one more fact i want to tell is like student can apply more in number scholarships where the more a uh, number scholarships you apply the more chances are there you can back but you have to take care when you are applying more in number whether you are meeting up with the eligibility criteria or not for example as i have told you if any private organizations are sponsoring the scholarship at that time if uh, they have asked you to you know as i have told you it's a first 100 application or first 500 applications where we will accept and remaining we don't so within that time duration of that like if you are applying within that short period and you being the within 100 or within 500 applicants then there are chances that you can bag more you know scholarship then the second thing comes you have to meet up with the eligibility criteria as well if you are not meeting up the eligibility criteria i'm simply i'm applying for example lens one specific uh, scholarship is uh, you know there for only girls if any boy is applying for that then the scholarship application gets rejected because you don't fall into the major criteria uh, whereas the gender specification is there and you are applying for that and then you lose the scholarship then third thing is uh, you know most of the students even have asked if you guys have any queries you can drop in the comment box i'll be i'll be answering your queries keep asking your questions here and i will i will ask, i'll take those questions and i'll answer on that also uh, i am till now i am telling what all usually frequently asked questions it might be or most of the our research says and how students are communicated with us or the institutions or 
even the parents who are connected with us who are asking those questions so that i'm trying to clarify here apart from that if you guys have any queries please drop in the comment box so that i can answer your queries so the fact student has to know few more are uh, yes you can apply more in number scholarships also the government itself you can apply to one is from state and other ones from government uh, sorry central government and third is private organizations are there who are sponsoring n number of scholarships state wise course wise your caliber wise so like there are a lot of uh, scholarship which are available uh, and you have to apply over there few students even ask like my parent is a government employee can i apply for the scholarship or not yes the scholarships are even there for that the one uh, scholarships are there for the students who whose parent Uh, serve for the country in the uh, in any military navy or any of the air force so there also scholarships are available so apply more in number so that you can bag more in number and the next thing uh, which uh, uh, someone is asking is it fake or real uh, we aren't fake we are uh, we are not uh, for what reason we have to be fake i'm not understanding if i was a fake i would have not come on the uh, social medias and we aren't present on all these so- social medias and we aren't charging anything from the students or from the institute or from anyone like uh, for providing the service we aren't fake we are trying to help the student we are being if we were a fake the government of karnataka has not backed us they were not, they would have not awarded us for the concept what we are doing and this this is a social platform where we are helping uh, you know uh, we are working on the social cause it's not only me the, there is a, a team of 10 who is working dedicatedly for this and uh, we are here to help the students to clarify their doubts um, i'm still i don't know what profile should be okay uh bandhu is asking one question what profile you should update there is a simple basic after registration you, you know the basic information you have to fill the profile profile update like you, what is your course you are pursuing what was your previous year percentage what is your gender what is your family income what is uh, your aspirant of so these are some basic information related to you because the scholarships are based on your uh, gender scholarships are available based on your extra curricular activities what you are doing scholarships are available based on your family income scholarships are available based on your course what you are performing pers- uh, no, performing what is the uh, wh- there are some scholarship uh, where in which state you belong to so likewise there are a lot of scholarship which are available if you are updating those things so we can send you the automated notification so we will have a list of uh, scholarships every month which we will be adding and those notifications will be sent to you this is the reason we are asking you to update your profile so not only like for the indian students most of the students are planning to go for their higher studies to abroad where the uh, fee structures are extremely high so for keeping that in concern we are trying to add the scholarship information for those students who are planning to go for their higher education also it is not only for uh, not only to the indian students and uh, the students uh, who are apart from the studies there might be some students who will be having some extra uh, you know curricular activities participation must be there or they might be having an interest other than studies like being a student can be can have other uh, area of interest like for example someone is interested in athlete athletics or sports or extra curricular activities kind of photography content writing or uh, you know designing it might be it might be any other any other competition based and exam based there are lot of scholarship which will be available this month specifically matching with this state we have around six scholarship which i'm going to shoot in the comment box right away you can check it out so uh, this this is i'm talking about only one month and uh, which is dedicated I mean probably like where you guys fall into in eligibility criteria where you can belong to a state or the region where you are staying so the, to that specific location we have around on six active scholarship only in the month of november where sitaram jindal is the one which is sponsoring this 50000 rupees scholarship over there then there is a hamdar scholarship is there there is a exam based scholarship is there so swami dayanand scholarship is the one who is sponsoring the scholarship so likewise there are six different scholarship of which its apply process link is also active you can go it's just 3 minutes video we are we are making so that student should not invest much of data also over there so we making sure it's a very short video where you'll get to know uh, the apply process of an application and you can apply more in number i'm talking about only this specific month and this specific region where i'm giving the webinar so that specific location we have active six scholarships this month and along with it it's uh, you know youtube uh, 
video is has also been uh, you know uploaded on our youtube channel if you guys are subscribing our youtube channel probably whenever we are adding any new scholarship apply process video you'll get to notification so that's the best thing you can do sometimes as a human being you can forget also so if you are being a subs uh, subscribed user of it then you will get every notification whenever we are adding any new scholarship apply process link over there and the second thing is we are already available on the instagram and telegram so you guys can follow us over there and telegram like the students are more active over there so that to give the notification or the updated scholarship information we are quick for the quick communication we are using these platforms so that student can uh, communicate there easily then other than this like uh, uh, as i have mentioned other than uh, uh, you know academic related uh, competition based and award based uh, abroad scholarships so these are the three major categories where we are focusing students to help about the scholarship information every month we are adding more than uh, you know uh, 20 scholarships on our portal uh, more than 20 scholarships i repeat uh, and if you if you are not registered user you can go and check the website and you can, you can find the scholarship information over there if you been the registered user it's good like you can uh have a dedicated scholarship information where you can you are eligible for that i have couple of questions i'll answer those till then if you guys have any queries you can ask over there someone has asked ma'am still i don't know what uh, profile should i apply like uh, update as i have already told like you should update some basic information from which state you belong to which city you belong to what course you are pursuing what was your previous percentage what was your uh, fa- what is your family income so these are the uh, basic uh, information we are asking so that based on those eligibility criteria we can send you every scholarship provider comes up with eligibility criteria which which match up with your profile we will notify them so that's the reason we ask you to update the profile uh someone uh fella has asked one question where we can apply uh the scholarship apply uh, scholarship information are available on our website uh, i repeat uh based on a category wise based on a you know course wise and all those things the scholarships are already available on our platform you can go to website and you can click on the every scholarship go through the detail whether it's matching up with you or not else if you been registered user we'll be sending you the relevant uh, scholarship information which you can apply and along with that application uh, link and everything will be provided there are scholarship which are 90% of the scholarships are online there are only 10 10% of scholarship which are offline if it is online you can apply, apply through your mobile phone or uh, your computer also if it is offline 90% of the scholarships are online there are only 10% of scholarship or 5 to 10% of scholarship which are offline there also the application uh, will be given take a print out of it fill the old details attach the documents which are relevant and then you can post to the respective address which is been given uh one has asked mrain has asked me like if your parent is working in a social service can we can still like yes yes you can apply like there is there are only few uh, scholarship provider who are putting the restriction there are lot of scholarship provider where the eligibility criteria uh, is even uh, not applicable for the social service also that you your kid can or you can apply over them i still don't understand that we can apply for scholarship after completing ba uh, like if your uh, priyan has asked me this question uh, yes mr priyan like it's kind of thing like you should a scholarship is reserved for the students you should understand this basic thing um uh, the thing you should be pursuing any courses uh, the scholarships are there for as i have mentioned already scholarships are scholarship starts from first standard to phd level but the you should be a student over there so st- uh, if you are still a student like if you are going for a masters that time you can apply the scholarship which are related to the master students so the scholarship what i have listed just now are applicable to undergraduates and post graduates and some of they are for phd also so you can uh, check the eligibility criteria after completing ba yes but you should be a student then only you can apply for the scholarship you can bag the scholarship that's a basic eligibility criteria you should be student if you are pursuing higher education then you can bag the scholarship any other questions guys please put it in the comment box i'm asking the, i mean i'm i'm here to answer your queries ma'am after applying nsp we can apply again for other scholarships yes that is what uh, i'm trying to tell you over the entire webinar you can apply more number of scholarships the government uh, nsp is a government scholarship the government itself you can apply two scholarship one is central government and another one is a state government but you should know whether you fall into its eligibility criteria or not uh Josna has asked me about the question ma'am what's the last date the six uh, scholarships what i have mentioned just now uh, are uh, 
will expire on this maybe on 30th of this month sitaram zindal is throughout the year you can apply any time and uh, there are some scholarship which will expire on 30th of november uh, some of the scholarship which will expire on last date is on uh, 12th of december some on 31st of december so likewise every month the scholarship any new scholarship comes the new start date and its expiry date or the end date will come so it's not reserved that only today we are doing this webinar only for the sake of this six scholarships no the global scholarship platform is adding the scholarship information every now and then the scholarships are throughout the year from the varied resources you can apply more in number that is why this webinar has been organized uh uh swami is asked like what uh mam last date can be extended there are few scholarship which will extend their you know last date also there are few which don't that depends on the absolutely depends on the you uh, know uh, that is also criteria the last date you uh, know uh, uh, the first date and the last date application opening date and last date and scholarship amount all these eligibility criteria absolutely depend on the scholarship provider if we get any information we definitely notify you on instagram telegram youtube on whatsapp also so that more number of students should apply for this scholarship guys any other questions please throw on the comment box let me go through the comments like if anything i remain with someone has asked me this question can i become one of the agent in the global scholarship we are uh, we would like to welcome you for our team no worries like uh, volunteer you can work with us uh, you can connect with us on uh, for these queries like you can uh, connect with us for the further discussion on instagram so that the further discussion will be taken up any other questions guys so like till you who type a question like uh, you can subscribe our youtube channel uh, so that you can get uh, every new uh, scholarship updates on your mobile phone and uh, you can follow us on the instagram and you can follow us on the uh, telegram also we are requesting you to follow us or subscribe it is because to help you guys to apply more number of scholarship there are a lot of scholarship which are available our last track record says that in an year we are sending students 60 relevant scholarship information that's a minimum 60 relevant scholarship information throughout the year we are year we are making sure that the student has to apply on the other day we we had we were doing a webinar like we got to know that one student has received 95 relevant scholarship information which are applicable especially to her so likewise there are a lot of scholarships are available please register so that you can get more information on that and you can bag more in number the more you apply the more you bag and guys one more thing like which has to be focused is like most of the students are planning to go for higher studies for the abroad like there are scholarship which are available to the uh the who, who's planning for the abroad scholarship please uh, go through the website and apply the scholarship which are related if you are planning to go for your higher studies to the abroad also uh next question i have here is if parent is a social service then yeah i guess i have already mentioned uh, this information uh, if your social service also you can be a part of uh, you know uh, uh, kid can be the part of the any uh, and can apply any of the scholarships i have already answered this question any other questions guys please any questions from the staff members they can also ask on behalf of student because you are the one like for example like i guess uh, Asha, uh, ma'am is the one like who's a scholarship committee member, and one more uh, madam is there like who's who you guys are uh, uh, connected with the students. So students may come up with a lot of uh, uh, queries. So uh, please, uh, if you have guys any questions, please throw questions. I'm here to answer. Any queries? So guys, if you don't feel free to ask questions here, you can connect with us on Instagram also. One-on-one uh, -on -one queries will be resolved. Uh, Ma'am, can we apply two times scholarship? Ah, uh, Jasmine, like you cannot apply the same scholarship twice, but you can apply more than two scholarships. But while applying scholarship, take care of the details what the scholarship provider is asking you in the application process it might be your name your phone number your email id these information they are asking because 
uh, or the account number or the proof what they are asking it is to notify you the phases of the scholarship few of the students have uh, earlier also have asked this question what is the duration of the disbursement of the scholarship usually student asks this they think that today i am applying and tomorrow i'll back the uh, you know the amount will be credited to my account no it is not th like that it has some process duration for example the last date application start date and the end date this itself is a 30 days or 45 days of duration uh, will be there first they have to uh, put a uh, you know end to the receiving any applications that is the first thing so that's the duration of 30 to 45 days after that your scholarship applications filtration process goes on that's the usually a disbursement of the fund goes like this uh, you know 30 to 90 days is the duration which usually takes i mean 1 to 3 months is a duration which will take time to filter this process it is not that today you have uh, put an application and tomorrow you will get the amount it is like your application has to be filtered there will be lot of eligibility criteria as where you should match up because students sometimes miss out some eligibility criteria and then they'll apply and they'll think that i am not able to back this scholarship and they'll never realize for what reason they are losing this information i mean this uh, scholarship why they did not back it they'll never realize it then second thing is like uh, uh your your applications uh, your whether you are matching up with your eligibility criteria or not then the documents will be verified then they have to filter things and then they'll go for the disbursement so this is the process of 30 to 90 days it's not one day like you are you are you have applied today and you are uh, getting the scholarship amount tomorrow so you have to be patient keep applying more in number till we, you know investing time in that 3 months you may lose some 30 applications which are matching with you so other than uh, other than studies also there are lot of other competition based small content writing essay competition exam based so like this there are lot of scholarships are available keep applying for them also it's nothing bad in that ma'am can we apply the, then i'm done with that uh, uh, well the scholarship one well this scholarship is once uh, in a year or once in uh uh okay uh, mr like uh, as i have told you the scholarship provider has a varied eligibility criteria this is also one part of this like the question has been asked here is uh, this scholarship is once in a year or month monthly ma'am yes there are some scholarship which are uh, which are on every monthly basis and there are some scholarship which will be once in a year the one once the amount is disbursed it will uh, you know it will be disbursed once in a year and there are some scholarship which will disperse on a monthly basis also it depends absolutely these eligibility criteria absolutely depends on the scholarship provider any other questions okay guys if you have no questions then i would like to wind up the session if you have any questions please throw in the comment box or else we are already available as i have told you on instagram and uh, uh, you know you can comment on the youtube also like we are available uh, we, the scholarship videos are available uh, for any queries uh, like we are available on whatsapp telegram and instagram where you can uh, clarify your one on one doubts uh, over to you ma'am hello Hello, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, absolutely audible. And so, can we proceed to the last part? Yes, ma'am. If you have any queries on behalf of students, also you can ask, or else we can wind up the session. Okay, that's it. Okay. Now, I would like to call up from here, Madam, to say the little thing. First of all, I would like to thank the Gogas for for your valuable time and saving a day to our students. I would like to thank the speaker, Madam Vina Jaspande, co-founder and managing director, Pirish Technologies Private Limited, for sharing her vast and informative knowledge regarding various scholarship schemes. I am, I am sure that the students really uh, benefited from it. I also thank my dear colleagues, beloved students, and all other dignitaries. present here once again thank you all and enjoy the rest of that day thank you
Thank you so much. I would like to thank the entire team of Government Degree College Kanchanpur who been connected with us uh, throughout this webinar. I hope this webinar was helpful to the students and as well as to the institution. I would like to thank Principal Manu. I would like to thank uh, you know a nodal scholarship officer. I would like to thank uh, the member uh, of scholarship committee. Uh, I would like to thank all the students who have joined this webinar. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am.